Did you know that Labadee, the picturesque tourist spot along Haiti's coast, bears the name of Marquis de Labadee, a French slave owner who settled there in the 1600s? In 1985, Royal Caribbean forged an agreement with Jean-Claude Baby Doc Duvalier, gaining exclusive control over 260 acres of prime waterfront land in Haiti. This pact initially leased Labadee to Royal Caribbean from 1986 until 2026. According to the cruise critic community, President René Préval's administration further extended the lease of the 260-acre peninsula along Haiti's coast until 2050, which aroused significant suspicion. However, the terms of the original contract, as outlined by Jim Walker and other sources, stipulated that Royal Caribbean's workforce in Labadee must comprise Haitian citizens, with specific tax obligations and investment commitments aimed at bolstering Haiti's infrastructure. Unfortunately, this hasn't materialized. Despite some Haitian employment, Royal Caribbean instead erected a 12-foot security fence and hired armed guards to restrict access, contradicting the spirit of the contract. Naming the territory after a notorious French plantation owner, who was defeated by those he oppressed, is not only disrespectful, but also disregards the sacrifices of Haiti's ancestors in their fight for independence. Over the past two decades, Royal Caribbean has exploited Haiti transforming Labadee into a private enclave where predominantly U.S. cruise passengers spend exorbitant amounts on various activities, funneling profits directly to the cruise line's headquarters in Miami. The Haitian community highlights former President Preval's decision to extend the contract until 2050, a move that warrants reconsideration by future administrations. The Haitian community should unite in boycotting Labadee until not only the territory's name changed, but also until justice is served to the Haitian people on the island.